Uh, my talk is about perfect engineering. And uh, the idea is how to learn how to make buildings resist very severe things. Now, uh, you have all studied mechanics and classical theory of uh, vibrations. And uh, you will remember that almost everything you studied in your classes is linear. Newton's laws, you know, linear mechanics. Uh, solve the problem, get the results with two significant figures. Wonderful, right? But this is just linear stuff. And the earthquakes don't know mechanics. The earthquakes are very violent forces. And when they shake, the buildings collapse, and things are very nonlinear. And Everything is totally different. The, the subject that we deal with is very young. It started in 1932 with the thesis of Morris Peel. A few papers were written by him in 1934, 25, and then only professors understood what was going on. Engineers were not applying this theory at all. The first time this idea of how to analyze buildings for earthquake forces using dynamics from the OS dissertation started to appear in engineering offices maybe in the mid 1970s. So from 1932 to mid 1970s is like 40 years. It takes a long time to make new results get into the ground. From mid 1970s, today, today is many years later, 2023, very little has changed. If you go to a class in earthquake engineering uh, at this university, at, at my university, more or less everything will be somehow related to linear theory. And the nonlinear theory is, is a fudging, cheating approximation. And that is not okay, because we cannot predict what happens to the building when it really wants to fall down. So the idea that we have is uh, we should try to understand a very large scale nonlinear response, so that by studying how it collapses, we can understand how to design the columns, the beams, the shear walls, what have you, to slow down this collapse, to hopefully prevent it and save lives of people that may be in the building. Uh, this is a very new work. Uh, very few people are working on this at the present time in the world. I did some uh, literature uh, survey before I started to work on these papers, and I was very surprised to find that you can find virtually no papers in leading papers in the journals of the world about collapse. The first paper started to appear around 2000, say 20 years ago, more or less. And then I'm happy to see that they became more and more popular. And nowadays, there are quite a few papers that are uh, talking about nonlinear response. Uh, very few people are working on it. There's an interesting group, uh, some professors from, former professors from Iran are working in, in, in Australia. And they have written some very nice papers on collapsing of the structures. Now, what kinds of papers are those? Uh, 